As CBD products continue to gain popularity, more and more cannabis companies are turning to the Toronto Stock Exchange to attract investors. Joining us now is Lou Eccleston. He is Chief Executive Officer of TMX Group. And Lou, good morning. It's great to have you here. Good morning. Thanks for being here. First off, congratulations, because today the first U.S.-based cannabis company starts trading on your exchange. Tell us why mm. this is so important, and do you expect to see more of these companies list with you? Yeah, well, one of the things we have, we have held to uh, as this business has exploded is is a requirement that we have that all companies that list on our venues, either the, the Venture Exchange or the Toronto Stock Exchange, have to be operating in federally legal guidelines in every jurisdiction they're in. Sounds reasonable. Now, with the change in towards hemp and, and with the Farm Act, yeah. CBD companies now fit that bill. So we think there's a lot of pent-up demand, and, and we're hopeful that this is the first of many. Uh, but remember, there are already, though, many cannabis companies on the exchange sure. that happen to not fall into that issue of uh, federal legal. I just want to mention the name of the company we're referring to, Charlotte Charlotte's, Hold, Web. Charlotte's Web yeah. Holdings, and yeah. they're in, in Colorado. Correct, right. Yeah. To your point, Lou, there are many. Uh, there are many now cannabis companies, and a lot of investors have piled into the space. How concerned should they be about the financials of these companies? They are emerging. Sometimes they don't have cash, and, and they have large losses. Yeah. Well, that's one of the great arguments for listing on an exchange, mm -hmm. because that is vetted. It's transparent. Uh, and you've got a base of investors that, that, that are looking at these earnings on a regular basis, looking at management, looking at how the company operates all over the world, not just in, in where they list. Uh, I mean, when you look at our venues, for example, 30% of the volumes that come to our exchanges are from outside of Canada. Yeah. So it's very much an international platform. You look at the Lightspeed, which just uh, launched as an innovation company, and their CEO is quoted as saying they chose Toronto Stock Exchange as the only listing because it attracted global tech investors. How is the Mexico tariff, China tariff war affecting business? Because I'm wondering, can you be a beneficiary? Are there some Chinese companies that want exposure to North America but aren't coming to the U.S. right now? Yeah, well, you, you can be. It doesn't automatically open up the floodgates, okay. right? Okay. Uh, and any time there's political term, you know, turmoil like this is not good for business. Uh, and I think when, if people are wondering about what might happen with, with tariffs and, and taxes and citizenship and, and work permits and all those things, it becomes an issue. But in general, I think, you know, what we've got is a, is a global base that, that is, is started, you know, historically from where Canada was with resources. And now as innovation companies start to look at that kind of ability, uh, very unique to Canada, an ecosystem that starts with small companies about capital growth moving to the big exchange, that applies to innovation companies. So cannabis, but fintech, biotech, clean tech, it all applies. Uh, so we're building a very international base now. Last week alone, we had three listings from Tel Aviv. Oh. Tel Aviv, because yeah. Israel, a lot of tech companies. You have yeah. Breath of Life going to IPO right. with you. Yeah. It's a medical cannabis company. Correct, yeah. 